So in just the last 20 minutes, we are really for real learning that in big, bold letters, the women's basketball boom is real. Guess how many people watched that huge Iowa LSU game featuring Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese? Guess. It was the most watched college basketball game on ESPN ever. Men or women. Nobody has ever watched this many college players play basketball on ESPN considering this game. 12.3 million viewers. That is bonkers bananas huge okay that's an all-time record for a women's college basketball game on any channel two million more people that watched when these two played last year remember that was the final that was the final this was just the elite eight to put it in perspective the two elite eight games on sunday in the men's tournament averaged 12.8 million viewers so we're talking basically nearly even numbers between the men and the women what is what is behind that well you know it it's these two these two superstars Caitlin Clark for Iowa, Angel Reese for LSU. And yes, it was Caitlin Clark winning this time, dropping 41 points to get Iowa to the Final Four. But Angel Reese, she is a star in her own right, big time. Kurt Badenhausen joins us now, the sports business reporter for Sportico. Can I pull back the curtain? We talked in our morning meeting about like, hey, the ratings are probably going to come out right around showtime for the women's, you know, the women's game last night. Like, it could be huge. It could be 8 million. It could be 10 million. And then this blew that out of the water, right? I did a podcast this morning that talked about, oh, I don't think it's going to hit the 9.9 .9 million oh, because it's you ESPN instead of ABC. It's the quarterfinals instead of the finals. Uh, uh, my Twitter feed was just a continuous, holy, <laughs> you know what? Uh, the number's crazy uh, and really speaks to, again, Caitlin Clark is driving the train here, Angel Reese, incredible. But it really speaks to the momentum of the whole sport. Uh, the, the the other, the UConn game did great numbers too. Uh, the top five uh, most followed uh, college basketball players on Instagram, they're all women. Yeah, so so Amazing. the women are the stars in college basketball right now, uh, and 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 we're seeing that across uh, whether it's women's soccer, we're, we're this incredible momentum and the cycles just feeding each other, where these athletes are becoming stars, advertisers are recognizing yeah. it, they're spending money, salaries are going up, franchise values are going up. To put this in perspective, just to give people a sense of like why twelve point three million is so bonkers, that's more than any baseball game last year. Only one NBA game beat it. It beat almost every college football game, except for like the playoffs, Ohio State, Michigan, the SEC title game, just the heavy hitters. So this number is gangbusters. Pull on that thread about what this means for women's sports, right? The idea that more people are tuning in, the idea that it is a sort of in some ways a self-fulfilling cycle of sort of women cheering on women, people watching women, women getting more higher profile, et cetera. We've seen it all, all season long. The, the women's game has had all the buzz uh, when we're talking about college basketball this year. Uh, and, and again, we're, we're seeing it with women's soccer. We're seeing momentum with the WNBA. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're, we look at the business of sports at Sportico, and we're looking at these incredible franchise valuations where NWSL, you had clubs selling for $2 million three years ago. Now, now they're going for over a hundred million dollars. Yeah. Angel City's looking to raise money at two hundred million dollars, uh, and so and the people who are buying into this, they're not doing this just be, just out of the goodness of their heart. This isn't <laughs> oh let's 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 spend some money right. on women. This is these are serious investors who are looking betting on women as a good long term investment, and they're looking to get a good ROI from their investment. Well, listen, Kurt. More all that story. Always bet on women. Kurt Biden has oh, oh, 100%. Thank you. Thank you. I, I tell my wife that always. Very smart. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Really interesting developing news tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.